Howdy y'all, this is A.R. Cavley. Welcome back to my channel and the further adventures of Russell Miranda, Gunslinger. Last time we left, he had just snuck into this bunker that has something to do with the Ghost Riders of Tahira. And now he's going to try to sneak in. It is a new session, so we'll give him his... Caw point back. But he's still pretty beat up, so he's gonna have to he's gonna have to live with his minus one resolve. So now obviously he needs to explore we needs to head down into this bunker into the underground see how um expansive it is from what we rolled last time we know that there's like 10 people according to the dice and one of them is the ostler uh, dana the grumpy old man, and at least three ghost riders. Let's see. Let's go ahead and shuffle. Oh, let's make sure we've recalled all the cards, too. Yeah. And shuffle and shuffle. Let's, we'll just go ahead and start with a challenge. Let's see what our first challenge that Russell has to take care of. A hard, agile challenge. Man, he's not that great with the agile stuff. That's what he started off with last time. What is... Let's use some inspiration from our roles. Let's give us a, a hint as to what this Agile challenge is. Obviously, I'm, I'm thinking he probably is going to need to continue sneaking because um, he's got to get down and, you know, bunkers. There's, at least at this point, there's not like a lot of places to hide. A barrier. I had a barrier last time. Illness or injury? Now, well, being a bunker of sorts, well, not of sorts, but being a bunker, um, I'm seeing that maybe it has different, uh, maybe not checkpoints, but at least different areas, secure areas. So I'm I'm inclined to think that this barrier is something that he needs to get through. So well, we'll just say that he's still he's following them deeper into the depths of this bunker and he needs to sneak along as best as he can without getting caught and while being able to um, maybe get through the door again, you know, for, to the next area before the, before it closes. As the riders carry on, they hand the reins of their horses to the old man, and they go through a door down at the bottom of a ramp where it extends. The stables are they look makeshift like they were not like the horses were not the original things that were supposed to go in this area uh russell suspects that maybe it was some kind of garage back when this was an old world building he's heard of the the old vehicles and the the carriages without horses 
that they used to use. And so the, the ghost riders carry on while the old man puts them, put, puts the horses away. And he can see that the horses, that there are, let's see, how, how closely do the horses match the people? Six. Okay. So I think that's a pretty good idea. So there, there are six horses total. Um, so which would indicate that probably um, all the ghost riders, that there, there were probably only six ghost riders total. And three of them are dead. Now, of course, we know there's a total of ten people in here remaining. So, uh, probably staff, people who support making the ghost riders or giving them orders. You know, the, some kind of leadership and staff. And who knows what other kind of personnel supporting the Ghost Rider mission. But Russell finds himself essentially alone with the Ostler as the door closes behind the last Ghost Rider. And so Russell... He doesn't know how to open the door if there's some kind of other lock or something. So he's his his agility challenge is going to be to sneak up behind the ostler and either get through the door quickly behind him or get the ostler to open the door, see how the door is open, and then maybe knock the ostler out. Although it could also be that maybe what he needs to do is capture and interrogate the ostler, and to be able to do that, he needs to sneak up on him. Hmm. That actually sounds... That actually sounds a little better. So he's going to try to sneak up on the ostler as he is fixing his horses, and he's going to try to get some information out of him. The agility test is his ability to get to the ostler without being seen first. Hard agile challenge. Why it gotta be hard, man? No, oh, not even close. Russell steps around the corner and immediately puts his foot in some horse droppings and skids. He himself keeps silent, but the motion of it is enough to immediately uh, get the ostler's attention and the horses too. And so Russell is going to point because he had his gun out. He's going to point his gun at the old man's head and put his finger to his lips and shake his head. I'm going to say that's a and. That's an intimidation roll, so I'm gonna Russell's kind of a big burly guy, so I'm gonna I'm gonna tie his intimidation to his his physical presence. And we'll make that standard because the old guy, he's surprised. He's not expecting to see anybody that he doesn't know inside the bunker. Man, nothing. What does the old guy do? Now let's see what Ka my. Let's see what Ka's fool. What does he do? Rejection. Okay, well, all right. He rejects. He rejects that. He rejects the intimidation. He's not scared. 
concealment. So the old man, as soon as he sees Russell point the gun at him and tell him not to shoot, the old man jumps out of sight. And Russell rushes around the corner. He's still got horse shit on his boot. And he gets there and, and the old man's gone. What in the gods? And he's looking through the old man, the concealment. The old man has found some, there's some kind of door or closet. Uh, let's see. On a five or a six, I'll say this thing, whatever this guy went through is something that will get him deeper in. Otherwise, it's just something that you wouldn't know it was there. You know, maybe some kind of like old um, locker or closet. Something that if you didn't work the stables, you wouldn't know. So five or six, it's something that he has escaped through into another part. Otherwise, it's just concealment. All right. So Russell gets around. And the old guy is not there. He can't see the old guy anywhere. Come out, you bastard. I know you're hiding in there. Of course, he knows no such thing. <laughs> Can he find the concealment? Hmm. Hammer fist, big irons, and horsemen. I don't know. Nothing to find for that. I'm going to give him a craft roll to see if he can figure out where this guy is, is hiding. Um, and since, since the old guy did have to jump in wherever it is quickly, I'm going to say it's some kind of like a feed locker or something, and it's not readily visible unless you know it's there. Like it, it looks like maybe it's part of the stabling walls or something. Um, but he did have to rush in pretty fast. So I'm going to say there's a chance that he left a, uh, you know, a, a track or some kind of, you know, like some hay on the ground is out of place, something like that. So I, I will give Russell a difficulty of five at least, but crafty is not his strong point either. So we'll see. Good grief. Russell. D20, or roll 20. Not rolling 20 this time. All right, so Russell looks around. He's got, he keeps his pistol in his hand, and he's just pulling on things. He's looking. He keeps looking under the horse. He keeps looking around the horse, uh, thinking that somehow this, you know, maybe he's just playing... <laughs> He's just hiding on the other side of the horse, like like crawling, hanging off the side, so they can't see him, because because he can't find he can't find it. There's there's nothing where he is seeing the old man run behind. He finds nothing. So he's going to assume that the old man maybe took off that he escaped to another part of the building. And what's he going to do? Well, he's just going to have to go deeper in. So he cautiously steps around out of the, out of the stable, checking back over his shoulder several times, expecting the old man to... He'll be just about ready to put like a, a pitchfork through his back or, you know, put a scatter gun up against the back of his head. But the old man stays put and he, he doesn't see the old man. So he goes to the door that the three ghost riders of Tahira went through and tests it to see if it will open. And I think since it's inside... I'm going to say it's only it's only locked. 
on a five or a six. I, I think it's more likely that it's just going to be open like a regular door. All right. So he he gently turns the knob just to test. And he pushes it a little. And he knows he can open it. And once again, checking behind him, his gun ready, his big iron ready. He slowly creak pushes the door open. It's aged, creaking hinges sound thunderous in the silence as he's trying to sneak forward. And let's see. Well, let's see what his next task is. All right, an easy, crafty challenge. Let's see. Let's look. Let's get a little inspiration. Transformation, concealment. Okay, so he's going to have to. Let's see. Transformation and concealment. All right, so he's he's going to have to be crafty and. Um, so he needs to the the door is it is noisy but there's a point where as he's creeping inside there's a there's a chance that he's going to end up knocking over something that is stacked near the doors just sloppily stacked there that will make a bunch of noise uh, so some old bottles that are let have been left on top of a um, of a barrel that's used as a table by somebody. And the crafty challenge will be as he transforms, as he transitions into this new space, remaining concealed and quiet. And this is an easy crafty challenge. Maybe he'll make this, <laughs> maybe he'll make this one. Excellent. All right. So that's an extreme success. So that's good for him. Or an ex exceptional success. He peers in and he sees it. He's got his gun ready. He's peeking around and he sees the table that's there. Uh, the, the barrel that's there. It looks like there's some cans that people have been drinking out of maybe. They're set around the table. And he's able to sneak in. Let's see. What? Let's use our little solo guide. Let's see what kind of features are inside there. We're underground, so we will use our we'll use our dungeon events table. What do we got? Oh, whoops. No, I want to do a D66. That'll give me the same info, but I want to try to be consistent. So, five and a four. On dungeon features, five, four. Okay, so stains and damage. And... So you, you can see there's some stains and damage. It looks like maybe the um, like there's old tables that have collapsed, and the the wood is off moldering in one corner, and so that's why it has this makeshift um, the, the, these makeshift tables and crates that are that are being used. Let's see what the dungeon event... Let's see if there's some kind of interesting dungeon event. We'll take a look at that. Okay, a 1-6. Dungeon event, 1-6. An ambush. Or a, oh, no, that's 1-1, one, one, sorry. Uh, entangled or pinned...
Okay. So we'll uh, we'll say that there is a chance that entangled or pinned, entangled or pinned. Does he face a challenge here? I'll say in a five or a six, because uh, it's it's probably not a very big place. So he's likely to run into different people. And he snuck in. So he made that with a, with an exceptional success. So he's probably not going to be, um, at this point, getting ambushed. Because he, he had a good, he had an exceptional crafty role. Uh, so we'll see if there's a five or a six that there is actually someone in here, though. Okay, no. So there is, there's no one in here. So let's generate a, a test. What's our test? A hard agile challenge. Good grief. All right, so a hard agile challenge. Another barrier. Well, to be honest, going in through, you know, a, a bunker, which is kind of a secure f facility, having all these barriers makes sense, but I'm rolling them a lot. I rolled either, I rolled two or three recently. It's like, I don't know if maybe my, my, the, the, the random number generator may not be working very well. Let's see. I'll try it again here. Okay. Technology. So that's, so that's good. So there's a hard, uh, hard agile test involving technology. There, as he as he's creeping forward, he looks and he sees that there's a couple of branches off, but he barely notices that the um the, or edit. He sees that there's a couple of branches that he can take from this room. One smells like a barracks of some sort. He can smell the BO and dirty socks and whatnot coming from that direction. The other one, he can't really tell anything. But the third one, the third way, down towards the, as the passage goes on, it's like the walls are covered they start being covered with these more mechanical blinking panels and they remind him of the equipment he saw beneath bone ridge where his friend irving died and where young david house was drained to create the ghost riders of tahira so that's the way he goes. But what he doesn't know, at least not right now, is that there there is a detector. There is a sensor, a camera. What would it be? Let's, let's, let's see. There's something he's got to get by, some kind of alarm system. Uh, let's see. Let's get some information. Okay, deception, yeah, that's... Arrival, rivalry, exposure, exposure, exposure. Oh, well. All right. So we'll say that there is a, um, there's a camera and he doesn't see it at first. And he doesn't understand exactly when he does see, he doesn't exactly see what it is, but he, he finally notices the 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 little eye turning back and forth. He looks over his shoulder to make sure that no one is watching, no one's sneaking up, because the old man is out there somewhere. And he's heard of these mechanical eyeballs. They allow they allow people in other places to see. So he's going to try to run beneath it and carry on he's in as he's going as he's getting to the uh he's going to try to get inside the door at the end 
without being spotted by this thing, but it's going to be hard. He can't hide from it. He knows that. So he's going to have to make his movements quick, get underneath, and then try to get to the door before it sweeps back to see him running away from it. Okay. Well, not much for it. It is a uh, hard, hard agile roll. Zero successes. All right, so he... Let's see, how, how, how far along does he get? The higher, higher the number, the farther along the hallway he gets before he screws it up. Okay, so um, he gets... He darts underneath trying to move as quietly as he can in his actually I think he has boots now but they're they're softer boots so they are they're pretty quiet on the concrete floor of this bunker he shoots forward and he hides underneath barely getting underneath the camera as it turns and then he waits for the camera to pan the, far, the farther direction. And then he rushes to the door at the end of the hallway. And he's looking. He doesn't. He can't figure out how to open the door. Not easily. And he, he, he's looking for it. He's looking for it. And he's looking over his shoulder nervously as the camera starts to pan back. And he's looking for the door. And he's looking. And he finds what looks like the latch. It doesn't look like a regular doorknob. It's kind of recessed amongst all of the other technical looking panels and stuff in this area. But he thinks he sees it. And just as he's about to reach out to open it up, he hears, There he is! And he looks behind him. And he sees the old man pointing to him, and there are there are two of the ghost riders looking at him in uh, one on each side of the hallway, right in front of the old man who's saying, "There he is." Things have gone sideways. So as the camera the camera turns on him just as the two guys come and he knows that they have some kind of energy blasts and he just can't afford to try to close the range trying to use his axe or his knife. So... We will give let's see, I think be, between the two of them, we'll we'll give them as a group, we'll give them three effort tokens. So this is uh well, maybe a little little difficult, especially since old Russell Miranda is injured. Russell is with one hand. He's going to try to take aim at one of those guys. And with the other, with the hand that he actually has on the door, he's going to try to get through the door. So I think on his, his first, what he's going to try to do first, he's going to try to get through the door before those guys start shooting at him. I'm going to give that a... Well, let's see, first... Um, is it locked? I'm going to say on a 4, 5, or 6, he'll be able to open it. All right, so he he tries to jiggle it. It's locked. Maybe it was locked before. Maybe it latched when the camera and the alarm kind of started sounding. So 
Like I said, he was trying to do that, and with the other hand, he's blowing bullets down the hallway. Standard difficulty as he shoots and misses. He's not doing very well on those rolls. So he's trying to keep keep mobile as he's drawing a bead and shooting and they blast him. Uh, it's going to be an agility roll. I'll say... Um, I'll say five to start with. All right, so he is not able to evade anything. Oh, Russell, man, you're, you're just not doing us any good. Dice rolls. All right, so he tries to leap aside, but one of the one of those energy bolts zaps him. Uh, he sparks off the wall next to him, spraying uh, uh, embers and uh, across his face. He feels it. And he's feeling desperate, feeling trapped. He goes and he draws his other pistol and he just starts blazing down the hallway, just putting bullets downrange as fast as he can. He can no longer really keep, he can no longer be concerned about keeping track of ammo at this point. He's about to get blasted. He's trapped at the end of this hallway these by these two ghost riders and their strange weapons. Okay, so he finally, well, he manages to get one success. So he takes one token, uh, he removes one effort token, he blasts one, and he, he disrupts the, the guy's, this Ghost Rider shot, as he has to jump aside as Russell's bullets ping and bounce off the wall. And the one that's left, he is now blasting, blasting shots down the hall too. Uh, let's see. I'm going to say since Russell disrupted the other guy, um, I'm going to give him a four. So I think instead of an energy bolt, just because I think it looks cool, the Ghost Rider, he lashes out across the distance with a ghostly writhing whip of energy, and it whistles like a bullwhip and cracks and slashes across Russell's face in his chest ripping him open and causing him to stumble back so he is he's lost his resolve he's out of the fight and as a result he's going to take an affliction and i think let's do a kamai we'll, we'll do a couple kamai we'll see if there's a otherwise it's going to be a basic affliction like he's just wounded and he can't go on um, and maybe he'll die. You know, maybe he'll die. Maybe this is the end of the road. Transformation. Okay, well, in the immortal words of Marcus Aurelius, uh, what comes after life is either transformation or dissolution. So we'll say that somehow... His affliction is going to be a transformation, so I think. I think it's going to be he's he's uh, he's he's scarred. And injured. And I will. I guess I'll go ahead and mark that on his, on his sheet here. No, I don't have a, I don't have an affliction thing right there. So I will just, uh, 
Oh, okay, I'll just I'll just drop it in a tag. So let's see. He is severely. Oh well, tag tag doesn't look to be working. All right. He's severely. Injured with a whip scar across face and or so. All right, now he's been defeated, he has an affliction, he suffered that, he falls back, he stumbles back against the door, his face, his vision is just. Uh, pulsing red in pain. Um, he's not. He's defeated, so he's not really at the point where he can reach down inside. The Ghost Riders have defeated him. So now it's just a matter of he would normally. He, I mean, he's he's in a pretty bad way. He's stuck in the back of a hallway, and the most reasonable thing to happen. Would be that he just dies. They kill him. And with the way he's been rolling, he certainly deserves it. <laughs> um, all right, so I'm going to roll a die six. Do they finish him off right there or, or immediately? I'm going to say five or six. Okay, so they must, they, uh, the Ghost Riders, they step forward as Russell collapses to his knees. His big irons clatter to the ground. And he, as he tries to get up, as he tries to continue to struggle the fight, he simply stumbles backward until his back hits the wall. And he can't move. The two ghost riders, they, they approach and they split apart as an older man, a gruff man with huge handlebar beards dressed in a uniform similar to the old man, the old uh, hostler. Except this man looks like a leader. He looks like a gunslinger. And Russell looks up into his eye, up into the man's eyes. He can tell that this man was sent west like all failed gunslingers. And he steps forward right in front of Russell Miranda and he looks down at him and shakes his head. Well, what do we got here? Some little piss ant from Gilead, I see. And look what you brought me. And he reaches down and he picks up the guns. Russell, he tries to he tries to reach for them, but he can't. He can't get them. He just has no ability to move. the 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 pain is still f uh, flaming through his body. His arms are numb. His feet feel like they're on fire. And it, the old the Commander laughs as Russell lamely tries to reach forward for the guns. Well, if you were any better with these, then I guess I wouldn't be taking them from you. What's your name, gunslinger? Ah, never mind, it doesn't really matter. You wanted to see what was in this room so badly? He looks down at Russell. 
and gives him a smirk. It's almost it's a handsome smirk. He tucks the big irons into his belt. And as his hand touches the doorknob or the, the latch, the one that stayed, that refused to move as Russell tried to get through the door to escape, it clicks open easily. Let me show you. Ah, uh, you'll be coming right familiar with what's behind this door gun slinger. And he, op and he nods towards the Ghost Riders, and they reach down and they hook their arms beneath Russell's armpits and drag him into a room full of equipment that looked just like the area in the dark tunnels beneath Bone Ridge where young David House was sacrificed to allow the transformation of the first Ghost Riders. The commander tilts his head to a frame of some kind and the Ghost Riders drag Russell Miranda to that frame. It's standing, it looks like a coffin almost, standing up just a little, leaning back just a little bit, but instead of being made of wood, it's made out of iron bars or steel bars with uh, wires and lights running through it. They slam Russell into it, and before he can collapse, they have strapped him in across his knees and his waist and his chest pinning his arms at his side. The commander looks at him, looks him up and down. Pulls the rune axe. Pulls the knife from his belt. Hey. I bet you might have something to do with our three missing friends, don't you, gunslinger? What's your name? Now I'm interested. He tries to curse the commander. Tell him about how he's forgotten the face of his father. Tell him about how the white will prevail. Tell him that he will kill him himself. But everything comes out as an indecipherable mumble through his ruined face. The old commander laughs. <laughs> That's all right, son. You won't have to worry about that too much longer. It won't hurt you at all. And he nods to uh, somebody else that Russell can't see, someone he didn't see coming in because he's barely holding on to consciousness. Get him ready. We found at least one replacement for our lost troops. And I'm sure this gunslinger killed him. And he takes the pistols out and he slowly rotates them, appreciatively gazing over and going over all the details. This is straight from... This is straight from the armory. My gods. It's probably good you'll never see Gilead. At least not through your own eyes. If they were to ever find out that you had lost these pistols and given them to little old me. Your name would be a byword and a curse until the end of the tower. <laughs> oh, these are nice. And you know what? I just happen to have a bunch of ammo for these. Mm. 
Maybe not holsters, but I can fix that up fast. I do appreciate your contribution to our war effort, though, gunslinger. <laughs> and he tucks him back in his belt. And Russell sees a person wearing a white lab coat uh, with a mask over their face. The eyes look feminine, but he can't really tell. He's he's not he does not have the wherewithal to decipher that. The commander sets the knife and the axe on a table nearby to a blinking screen, something that Russell had seen before. He doesn't know what it is. It's just a square box, and it has blinking, flashing symbols going across it. Get him prepped. I want him as part of our little army within the hour. You, he points at one of the gunslingers, you stay here. You make sure he doesn't get away. You, you go get your gear ready. Go get the other one. We have things to do. And the uh, commander, he sees that the the horseman, the, the ostler, has has been peeking in through the door. And he says, hey, well, you did a pretty good job there today, soldier. Let's see about getting you a little bit of reward. And he slaps the old man on the back, and they go walking through the door, and it swings shut behind, leaving Russell alone with a doctor of some sort, and the ghost rider, who is standing nearby. All right, and we will call it there. As Russell Miranda, his life hangs in the balance. As the doctor feverishly starts working on various pieces of equipment around the lab, and he comes over with a huge syringe and injects Russell with something. All while the ghostly, lifeless eyes of the Ghost Rider of Tahira stare on. Next session, we'll see if Russell makes it out or if it's curtains for him. Happy gaming.